Today I just thought we'd do a quick video on efficiency on this drop DC to DC converter that I did a uh, video on a while back about making it into a portable power supply. A YouTuber named Jeff commented that he wanted to know the efficiency of it, in particular around 48 volts, putting out about 13.6 volts. All I could really reply back to him and say was that the manufacturer in the specs says around 94% typical efficiency. And so that's really a pretty large number to me for converters. I'd be surprised if you can get quite that high results, you know, with a big differential in input versus outputs. So I had this battery that's right at 50 volts. So we're at around 51 volts and I have not powered this board up. To do that, I'm gonna bring up on my power supply. I put the full 30 volts out, but I'm gonna limit, I'm gonna limit the current on it a good bit. I do have this Fluke 87 in series with the amps. If I hooked it straight up to the battery right now, it would just arc and uh, the current would go up as we charge the caps. So I'm just going to bring up on my supply and do it slowly. I just use the constant current on the supply to just bring it up slowly without any arcing. Now I hook up to the actual battery. So just powering up the low voltage rails on the supply and the display. We're, we're right at 23 milliamps. I do have our output just tied to a, it's just a drill motor that I used to use for testing. I had the electronic speed control just Velcro down to almost full on. I'm just going to use it as a load because I can go up the 20 25 volts output on this. So, just to make it easy, I'll take my output to I think 13.6 volt is what I wrote down that Jeff was asking about. So, we got 13.6 volts, one amp. I'm actually going to go up, I'll limit the current. 2.5 amps and we'll see what the voltage comes out to so if we look over here right at 590 milliamps and over here we're putting out 1.75 amps at 13.6 Verify voltage output. We read it at 13.7, 13.8 out. Gonna stop it. And I'll actually put a meter in line here as well. Let's see what the actual in line meter tells us. I just simply have this meter in line with the output. Okay, so 13.6 volts up to 3 amps. Okay. This made us verifying that this one is a lot closer. So we verifying the reading that we got earlier. So let's do a quick calculation on that and see with the actual wattage in and the wattage calculation out about what the percentage is. So we have 51 volts. 51 volts times 0.590. It's around 580 to 590 milliamps off the battery to the input. It was right at 30 watts. And on the output, okay, so 1.8 at 
was getting about 24 and a half watts output. We divide that by 30. Looks like we're right at 81 to 82 percent. I was hoping to get maybe 85 percent out of it would be a good number. That's still pretty impressive to get uh, about 82 percent. The only other thing I wanted to test today was Jeff also mentioned if the efficiency wasn't great, he could also run it off of 24 volts. I wrote it down to be a 48 volt converting to 24 volts. I hope I understood that right. We'll keep it at a 50 volts input and we'll try it at 24 volts out and we'll see, uh, we'll see if we get any different calculation. We'll go up to five amps out, get 24 volts. Voltage. 49 24 so at 49 times 2 we got 98 watts almost 100 watts going in and 24 at 3.5 it's almost 84 about 84 watts output about about 98 we're, we're, we're getting closer we're like 86 percent 85 7 so right at right at 86 percent the only thing i really have left to do in case we was wanting to put 24 volts in and get 13.6 out i thought i'd just run it up from my supply at 24 volts So I got the power supply hooked up to the input. I'm gonna bring the current up slow till I get up to 24 volts and I can go on up higher. I don't really wanna limit the current in, so I'm gonna go close to all the way up on my current control. I may have to go up to around three or four amps. Three amps, three amps will get it. Go back to constant voltage, 3 amps. Okay, so 24 and 1.46. And here was 13.6 and 2.2. .2. So 24 times 1.46 is 35. And then we had 13.6 output times 2.2 amps, 29.9. So 29.92 divided by was 35 watts in. We're pushing about 85, just, just under 86%. So we're 0.855. So we're pushing 86% on that one. So it looks like we're shooting between 80 and 85, 86%. So I hope that's helpful on the efficiency of this DC to DC converter. If you do have this powered up, just remember there's always going to be some current to, su to supply the, uh, the small DC control regulators and converters on board and the display drivers as well as the CPU. And there's also going to be a lot of current when you first put your battery load onto the caps. So any kind of soft startup, you can do a, a help that arcing or at least a, a good relay that can take the high powered input switching on and off so i hope that efficiency helps if you like the video give it a thumbs up please subscribe thanks for watching